Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Stephanie McQueen. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I am a stay at home slash homeschooling mom of one. I love to make videos about homeschooling and my daughter's preschool year. And then I also have an autoimmune disease and I'm trying to document my journey to wellness and health through food. I definitely believe that there is a lot of healing and power in natural organic foods. So today for you guys, I have a um, anti-inflammatory butternut squash soup. This is actually not my recipe. Um, I found it off of Pinterest. I will link all that below of where you can get it. But um, I wanted to try it out since it's fall time and starting to get cooler. I tend to like to go to soups and things like that. I do eat um, an anti-inflammatory slash ketogenic diet. I try to do high fats, low sugar, no processed foods and things like that. But um, yeah, this is a super simple, easy recipe and you can do it in your crock pot and just let it cook. I'm going to be leaving out um, a few ingredients because I already know that they are inflammatory to my body. But like I said, I will link the full recipe below. So I hope you guys enjoy this. I will see you in my next one. Be sure to comment, subscribe, like, share, share my video, and I will see you in the next one. Bye. Okay, for this recipe, you will need some avocado oil or olive oil, your crock pot, some ground turmeric, some ground ginger, ground cinnamon, Himalayan pink salt, garlic, and onion. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, I went really lazy with this one. I got the already cut up frozen butternut squash just because it's way easier than buying that big old thing and trying to cut it up and chop it. So if you wanna do that, feel free. If not, buy the organic frozen stuff. Um, pumpkin seeds to garnish, vegetable broth, organic, and a can of Thai coconut milk. The first thing you will want to do is coat your crock pot with your coconut oil or your olive oil. This will help add some more healthy fats into your soup. After you do that, you want to add the vegetable broth or the stock, whichever you choose. Um, make sure that it is organic so that you're not getting any of the other additives in this. I will be pouring the whole thing in here because I'm trying to make as much soup as possible, but feel free to you know, use whatever amount you feel is best. After that, you will toss in your butternut squash. Like I said, I went super easy and got the already frozen cut up stuff. But um, if you don't want to do that, then you can buy the actual thing and chop it up in chunks and put it in your crock pot. Then you will add um, a cup of your Thai coconut milk. You want to make sure that you are getting the white cream of the coconut milk. That is where the high fat is. It's okay if you get some of the coconut water in, but you mostly want the white cream. Next, you will want to add in all of your seasonings, the garlic, turmeric, ginger, cinnamon, and anything else you want to add. Like I said before, I am not a strict follow the recipe type of girl. I always just do whatever I want or add however much I want. But for those of you that like exact measurements, I will link the full recipe below so that you can follow that. But like I said, I am literally just adding whatever amount I want. Now that the soup is all done, here is where you will use your immersion blender and blend it all together in the crock pot. 
However, I do not have one, so I will be doing it old school and scooping it out and blending it in my blender. But if you choose to have it more chunky, then skip this part and just eat it as is. And now that my soup is all done, I added some Kerrygold butter, some pumpkin seeds, and I will also eat it with two rye crackers. And it is definitely really tasty.